Good evening and welcome to Legendary Bikes. My name is Jason and I will be more than glad to assist you on your visit. So uh, what type of uh, bike are you looking for? A cruiser, cruiser. or a, a semi-cruiser which is roader and off-roader? Cruiser, cruiser. All right. In the 350 category, we have a 334cc which is one of the proven engines with uh, USD. Now we have calibrated the engine so well that on all the bikes, that which I have three of them right now, two in the showroom, this is a Roadster, which is a 334cc, same engine on another different type of a model called the Scrambler. Now this will give you the opportunity to ride on an average Indian high, where you can have the best of controls on any of these two bikes. However, I also have another bike to show you, which is an adventure bike for the time back version, which is a completely roader and off-roader, which I'll show you in some time. Let me speak to you about this bike. A bike which has been done so well in terms of the headlamp prism designing, where the top two lights are, are two bulbs, which because of the reflector, you can get very good illumination. And the lower bulb is of a single bulb, which is so well designed again on the reflector, that the prism throws light as if there are two bulb effects. The illumination of the headlamp is so well designed, you will like it for the upper and the lower way we have done the headlamps common in all both the bikes, okay. including on the third one as well. This one, because it is a cruiser, we have given you a very small windshield so that the air doesn't come on your chest or your face. Well, that one would be a part of the accessories should you want to fix one. Now we come to a very large uh, telescopic damper in the front which comes with inbuilt uh, rubber dampers uh, which do a very good protection of the dust not settling on the tubes. Okay. So again by the manufacturer, very well thought by giving uh, the rubber gators right over there. A wheel which is of uh, 17 inches do a very good job. The only difference between the front wheels between the Roadster and uh, the Swambler is because this is a road riding vehicle, you get it with the alloys by default, black in color theme, uh, with tubeless tires, and while on the scrambler you get it with spokes. That is only because you do a lot of off-roading and you'll be hitting hard on the ground that can take better impact. So that's the reason why we made that an on-roader and off-roader. Coming to uh, the brakes. What's common with all our bikes is we're giving you the disc brakes, no doubt, but for better effect, we're giving you a two-channel ABS. The front will always be effective, you cannot switch it off, but if you look at the way we have given our high-quality switches, which gives you the control of your multi-information display, which is digital, you can control by switching off the traction control in the back by choosing the option. If you take a look at this, so you'll be welcome with a high, which is something which really good your bike is talking to you indirectly. Or everything digital with all cautionary warnings. Now, if I play with this button here, you will see that it is choosing the options, all right? Coming to uh, choosing uh, the three different modes that you have, uh, you have the sports, you have the rain, and you have the terrain. So once you bring it to the terrain mode, automatically the back ABS switches off. This allows you to go for better traction off-road. Now, you have a tank which is of 12 and a half liters, a very powerful engine of 334 cc, which gives you a very good power and torque. The power is around uh, 29 bhp, torque of 30 Newton meters, six speed transmission with a heavy duty chain and a heavy duty sprocket to, for you to do that amazing cruising. The same thing is also put on the same setup on the Scrambler as well. A bike that should give you a mileage of 30 to 35 based on your early morning drive or late evening drive but in the heat or your double seater then of course the mileage would drop a bit and you need to be uniform in your riding habits at the topmost gear at all times all right a very comfortable sitting in terms of your easy cruiser when comparatively an upright seater and a scrambler so this makes it a two different sets altogether well, speaking about the braking effect, both front and back is with ABS, as I was telling you, but the back can be switched off. Heavy duty dumpers on both sides that make the cushioning very well, place at an angle. Well, uh, the theme over here is color of black on the engine, black on the silencer, but this is an uh, exhaust where it comes from the engine block, split on the engine block itself. While well, this one, the double silencer comes from the box, the muffler that you have right over there. 
So there is a difference. So that means this output of the exhaust is a single one actually, but split underneath the chassis before the rear wheel. So now you can see how the difference between an easy cruiser is so well done comparatively to a scrambler that has been done with the exhaust system. Keeping in mind that this is available for a price uh, tag of around 260 to 270, depending on five different colors we have, this one would be somewhere between 260 to 285, depending on the five colors we have. In both of them, we have single colors and new world colors. One can have a choice by looking at the company site and then uh, looking at the colors and rotating uh, the uh, images. So I, as, I guess as much that you have uh, learned a lot about these bikes, do you have any questions uh, that you might want to uh, you know, ask me that might be useful uh, for? Uh, as being a Bangalorean, yes. which one would you suggest more to switch between a city ride and a cruiser ride? Uh, because that's in a difficult question yeah. because what happens is an uh, uh, easy cruiser is normally used for long drives. When you are totally uh, having uh, lots of tension, you need to completely uh, have uh, wind blowing in your hair and uh, exploring more of nature. This is an answer for today's uh, six-speed gearbox to go at a very good cruising speed. Uh, there is a, a YouTuber who's already ridden this bike at 160 km an hour and still very stable, still very uh, dominatable in terms of controlling it on, on the machine. So I would say long drives, this one. For the bed, uh, speed breakers done uh, in uh, lots of uh, areas, potholes, muddy surfaces, because you can do a lot of it, because the tires allow you, because these are the called the mud uh, highways or the off-roading tires, when you look at that, that's called the highway tires. The tires are well done towards the bike setup, and this one is meant not only just for the city, but it's also for the highway. It's very, both of them are very comfortable for two riders, but if you're a single rider and you want to chase some of the fastest bikes in the, this segment, the leader has just been born and been reincarnated all from yesterday. I suggest you, if you ever want to tame a beast, you have to try this one. My personal favorite, though I've ridden all bikes, in a small size, a big bike done like this, I need to call this bike a Bumblebee actually. Any questions from your side, sir? This is a liquid cool engine, right? All are liquid cool engine. One, two, and three are liquid cool and engines. And three comes in air cool. So can you give me a difference between air cool and liquid cool? Yes. Cold? Now what happens is when you ride the bike for a very, very long time, let's say you want to go from here to Pune. Okay. Uh, in an air cool engine, you must take a break at 150 kilometers, okay. depending on the speed that you're riding, the load that you're taking. And as you stop the bike, you will hear the metal trying to cool down, and it'll make the metal sound, ting, 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 uh, not the alarm of the buzzers, but the metal cooling down. Now when you have a liquid cool engine, the cooling is already has been started from the time you press the starter motor, and hence you, you can ride 1000 kilometers, one stretch, six gear at 160 kilometers an hour. Now that is what liquid cool engines can do, and we suggest you, you need to have a long distance bike like this. A very good question asked because that is something uh, these bikes can easily take on any challenges. How is the weight of the bikes compared to Fantastic, the a nice question. Uh, this is at uh, 185. Uh, this one is around almost the same at 185 to 190. It's and uh, the, uh, the uh, other one that we have is Adventure, the tall boy on road off road, that's around 186. So all of them have been well designed in terms of the curb weight the power to weight ratio, the economy that this bike can give, the cost of space, very, very reasonable. You will not believe if you break this clutch, it can be replaced for 200 rupees. Unlike many of the multinational brands, the clutch itself will cost you 6,000 rupees. So today, you are buying something made in India for every Indian, for every Indian road condition. I suggest a lot of people, they must go for the year's day today. We have a question as well, sir. So keeping this in mind, uh, the yes, he hosts sir, for those who of you would like to have a good uh, cruising uh, vehicle, and for those who would like to be young at heart, and you have the power in you, you have the choice to go to the extra mile, the Splendor, my favorite, 
a V, I call it the bumblebee, but it's called the USB Squander 6 speed, which gives you an amazing speed. With this, I challenge you to come down to the test drive uh, for the on the scrambler or the roadster. We have had uh, legendary bikes, nine main here. Please come and test us for no, any of the bikes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for your conversation, sir. I hope you had a good video. Thank you. Yes, sir. You have any questions?